Imagine a device so advanced that it defied the very timeline of technological evolution, standing as a marvel over a thousand years ahead of its time. You've stumbled upon the enigma of the Anti-Kathira mechanism, often dubbed the world's first computer. In this video, we're delving deep into the heart of this ancient masterpiece, unraveling its mysterious origins, the ingenious design behind its interlocking bronze gears, and how it managed to make celestial predictions that would leave our ancestors in awe. While many today are surrounded by digital devices that fit into the palm of their hands, the Anti-Kathira mechanism hails from a time when such computational feats were thought to be unimaginable. You might be wondering why you should care about a rusty artifact from the past. Well, this isn't just a relic, it's a testament to human ingenuity. By the end of this journey, not only will you have an insight into the astounding capabilities of ancient minds, but you'll also be left questioning, what other wonders of the ancient world have we yet to discover? Stay with us, and you'll witness the astonishing fusion of art, science, and mechanics that once predicted the cosmos. Background The Anti-Kythera mechanism remains one of the most enigmatic and remarkable finds in the annals of archaeology, a piece of history that seems plucked out of a science fiction narrative. Its story begins in the azure waters of the Mediterranean. In 1901, a group of sponge divers seeking shelter from a storm stumbled upon an ancient shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera. As they explored the sunken remnants, they began recovering a wealth of ancient treasures, bronze and marble statues, pottery, jewelry, and coins. Among these artifacts, however, lay something extraordinary a corroded lump of bronze gears and dials, initially overlooked, perhaps mistaken for just another piece of detritus from the ship. Only upon closer examination did the significance of this find come into focus. This wasn't just a random collection of metal, it was a complex mechanical device. Who could have built such an advanced piece of machinery in ancient times? And for what purpose? Researchers and historians have dedicated decades to deciphering the purpose and origins of this mechanism. It is now widely believed that the Anti-Kathira mechanism was designed and constructed by Hellenistic scientists, placing its origin within the intellectual golden age of ancient Greece. Radiographic dating and textual references suggest that this incredible piece of engineering was constructed around 70 BC. Its craftsmanship, intricacy and purpose all echo the genius of Hellenistic scientists, men who pushed the boundaries of what was deemed possible in their time. They were the vanguards of technology, creating an era where the line between art and science was beautifully blurred. And in the heart of their innovation lay the Anti-Kythera mechanism, a device that still baffles and inspires even in the modern age. Design and Functionality The Anti-Kythera mechanism, at first glance, might look like a random assemblage of corroded bronze, but beneath that exterior lies an intricacy that showcases the zenith of ancient engineering. The Anti-Kathira mechanism was fabricated out of a bronze sheet and originally would have been in a case about the size of a shoebox. The doors of the case and the faces of the mechanism are covered with Greek inscriptions, enough of which survive to indicate clearly much of the device's astronomical or calendrical purpose. The mechanism had 37 meshing bronze gears, enabling it to follow the movements of the moon and the sun through the zodiac, to predict eclipses, and to model the irregular orbit of the moon. The drivetrain for the lunar position is extremely sophisticated, involving epicyclic gearing and a slot and pin mechanism to mimic subtle variations, known as the first anomaly, in the moon's motion across the sky. On the front of the mechanism is a large dial with pointers for showing the position of the sun and the moon in the zodiac, and a half-silvered ball for displaying lunar phases. Furthermore, while the parts we have are already mind-blowing, there's more to the story. Given some empty spaces and unconnected gears, scholars speculate that parts of the mechanism are missing. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Many believe that the device was also designed to calculate the positions of the five classical planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, aligning them with the known constellations of the time. Thus, the Anti-Kythera mechanism wasn't merely a passive display of celestial events, it was an active, predictive device an ancient computer that mirrored the cosmos in bronze and wood. Its craftsmanship and purpose are a testament to the advanced understanding and passion the Greeks had for the celestial world. Significance The Antikythera mechanism's existence reshapes our comprehension of ancient knowledge, underscoring the remarkable feats humanity achieved long before the digital age. Its discovery challenges historical timelines, 
urging us to reconsider the evolution of technology and human ingenuity. To label the anti-Kathira mechanism as an ancient supercomputer is no exaggeration. Within its intricate system of gears and dials is a depth of knowledge that rivals modern-day computational devices in purpose, if not in capacity. The anti-Kathira mechanism had the first known set of scientific dials or scales, and its importance was recognized when radiographic images showed that the remaining fragments contained 30 gear wheels. No other geared mechanism of such complexity is known from the ancient world, or indeed until medieval cathedral clocks were built a millennium later. It's a vivid demonstration of how ancient Greek scientists were not just passive observers of the cosmos, but active analyzers, eager to decode the patterns of celestial bodies. This mechanism is crucial in understanding how advanced Hellenistic technology truly was, suggesting that the Greeks possessed both the mathematical know-how and the technical craftsmanship to translate their vast astronomical knowledge into tangible, functional devices. When juxtaposed with other technological wonders of antiquity and even later periods, the anti-Kathira mechanism's sophistication stands out prominently. Consider the medieval cathedral clocks, marvels in their own right, which emerged over a millennium later, these clocks, while intricate and symbolic, primarily showcased hours and in some cases, lunar phases. Alternatively, the Antikythera mechanism promises forecasts of solar and lunar eclipses, maps out the erratic path of the moon, and perhaps even tracks the movements of classical planets. While engineers from medieval periods had centuries worth of knowledge at their disposal, those who orchestrated the creation of this marvel were true pioneers whose journey took them across unfamiliar technological landscapes. In fundamental terms, what makes the anti-Kathira mechanism truly noteworthy extends far beyond its mechanical ingenuity. It stands as a remarkable leap in ancient innovation, a symbol of an era's ambition to decipher and replicate the intricate mechanics of our cosmos. It's a compelling testament to humanity's timeless pursuit of knowledge and command over cosmic enigmas that fueled extraordinary engineering feats. The anti-Kathira mechanism is indeed a captivating relic possessing an aura of mystery that continues to captivate researchers and historians' interests worldwide. The superiority reflected in its design and functionality, along with its historical importance, make it nothing less than an astounding specimen of antique technology. The very notion that such an intricate contraption was devised over two millennia ago attests undeniably to ancient Greece's innovative spirit and technological competence. As investigations on the anti kythera mechanism press on, we can merely anticipate uncovering more about this incredible gadget, along with insights about its inventors. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning about the Anti-Kathira mechanism with us.